After giving more than 30 talk show interviews in Europe, Norbert Heuser, a German entrepreneur, is now here on the Tan Talk Radio Network with his own show, Improve Your Life, covering many total different subjects and introducing many people from all walks of life. And now, here's Norbert Heuser. Hello and good evening. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks a lot for tonight's show. Uh, it's Monday evening, 6 o'clock. Every Monday, 6 to 7, you can tune into my show called Improve Your Life. And there are many, many areas of life. Um, basically, everybody needs some sort of improvement, more or less, or keep working on it. Let's call it this way. Like every week, um, I'll start with my quote of the week. Last week, I asked you, Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Well, unfortunately, nobody sent me an email with the right answer. So uh, the gift is still sitting here. And uh, of course, I would like to know who said that. Well, my countryman, Arthur Schopenhauer, to Deutsch, we pronounce it Arthur Schopenhauer, 1788 through 1860, a German philosopher said that. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. No one else can see when a genius hits a target. I like that a lot. Well, as nobody won this week, I give you a new one for this week to win, and um, which fits to our theme tonight. Tonight we're talking mainly about vitamins. Um, and here's a quote I would like you to be aware of. Um, and it goes, our rivers and soil are being depleted at a dramatic pace. In the near future, we will not be able to feed our population and quench their thirst. The simplest and most effective solution is to increase the tree cover and in turn enrich the soil and replenish water bodies. All right. It fits to what we do tonight. Well, we're living in a times where things are not looking so good for us in the future. So if you know who said that, please go to my website, improveyourlife.us, improveyourlife.us, and send me an email with the person who said that. And you are entitled to win one of my two bottles, uh, either one of my bottles, um, which are great, great uh, water bottles. And um, you can choose which one you want. It's on my website, by the way, improveyourlife.us. Under promo, you see those bottles. And I hope somebody will win it today. All right? Good. Um, the second part uh, then deserves an attention to a book. Every week I recommend a book. And so I do this week, which fits again to what we do today. The book is called The Amazing Liver and Gold Blood of Flush. The Amazing Liver and Gold Bladder Flush. Now, I know by my own experience, we all have major problems with the gallbladder and the gallstones, which are accumulating in our gallbladder by the dozens and hundreds. And I did gallbladder flush, and I must tell you, what comes out there um, is amazing. And we carry it with us in us, and it makes our body's functions more difficult but not more easy. I recommend to you to uh, read this book. I don't sell books on my website. You can see those books I recommend because uh, I think they got uh, a story for you to learn to tell. All right? Good. Having covered that part, I will uh, start with my first guest. My first guest is a colleague, uh, I may say a colleague of mine, who has been here on the show before. Um, his name is Paul Levine and invited Paul Levine to give you a short message. How is that? Thank you for having me on the show today, Norbert. Words from your spirit. I just want you to be happy. Are you a parent or a child? As a parent of two wonderful and grown children, I now more fully understand how my father felt when he would say to me, I just want you to be happy. Where does it come from? From things? From other people? We've all bought or been given that wonderful, amazing thing that you wanted for so long. 
only to throw it away several years later with yesterday's trash. And as for other people, they can hurt us and let us down. These are not the sources of happiness. Happiness comes from inside, from in your heart and from in your thoughts. The good news is you can control what you think about. When your thoughts are happy, your body will naturally show it with a smile. What are some of your happy thoughts? When you are driving the car, doing the dishes, taking a shower, allow your mind to drift to happy thoughts and good memories and pleasant experiences. I am Paul Levin with I Deserve a Perfect Life because you do. The Words from Your Spirit series is about you having more happiness, more confidence, and more inner peace. Visit me at IDeserveAPerfectLife.com. Set up a time for us to talk at IDeserveAPerfectLife.com forward slash free session. You can also call me at 813-841-5583 or email me at paul at IDeserveAPerfectLife.com. Let's talk about how you can have your own perfect life. If you want to um, know more about Paul, he was one of my previous shows. If you go to my website, by the way, uh, improveyourlife.us, you see all the um, previous shows uh, as an audio file to listen to or as a video file. Without any further ado, Here is my guest of today, Sir Winston Cow, who is specialized in vitamins, a lot of fields, but let's talk today about vitamins. Winston, good evening. Hi. Good evening to you, too. Great to hear your voice. Thanks for being on my show. Thanks for being on my show. Uh, The theme today, I think, was um, bad vitamins versus good vitamins, right? Yep. So now, yeah, the first question is I have, um, do we need to supplement our food with vitamins? Well, consider your first slide. Absolutely. The answer is yes, we do need to consider taking vitamins, but you also have to be educated as what vitamins to take. And that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to talk about today. Okay. Um, Um, In my point of view, the world is depleted. The earth is depleted, the grounds. We don't have not that rich uh, ingredients uh, we used to have, let's say, up to two, three hundred years ago. Um, The rivers, the water is poor. Uh, The air is poor as well. Uh, And most of the food people eat nowadays is poor as well. So it's everywhere poor. And I always took vitamins as a needed step to beef up a bit what we eat to complement what we're lacking. Well, I can add this much. I mean, it's definitely a global situation when you talk about soil depletion. Um, You know, the planet has a 90-year glacier period, and then we have a 10,000 interglacier period where we use up all the... That's the key drink that builds plant gives vitamins and enzymes and that's the basic basic building block is minerals and uh, the minerals basically technically speaking uh the interglacial period times was finished and completed by the year 2000 and even according to the fda back in the days when they did report how nutritious food was that was back in 1920 by 1930 they quit reporting the fully mature fruits level of nutrition because it was so low according to fda back then in the 1930s it wasn't worth reporting anymore because it has gone so far down so pretty much most of us who are listening to this show now wasn't even born and it was considered nutrition was way too low it's a really a mood point oh we may need or may not need we definitely need to have vitamins to supplement our dietary this is like hand down we definitely need to so anyway let me get back let me get a second just a second 
Just a second. Let me get back and step back a second here. Uh, you said uh, it was not worth them reporting anymore. May I ask probably maybe they didn't want to report anymore because it would give a bad light, shine light on the uh, farmers, the production, the factories, the food suppliers? Uh, I'm sure that was a, a important consideration, but also um, it was also a statement. The nutrition was like several thousand percent below where it should be. Like today, if you go out several thousand. and just read thousand, thousand percent, and we're not talking about a little bit, we're talking about massive percent, okay? And uh, I have grown food in the United States with my technology and people go, oh, you cheated. You you used the uh, sugar uh, needle and shot your uh, tomato plants because it tasted so good that they knew that this couldn't possibly be real. But it was. It's just we are not accustomed really good, highly nutritious. When I go out and collect my salads, my entire house smells like salad because of the level of nutrition, the aromas, and everything that comes with a truly well-grown plant. Well, I so, can attest yeah, to that percent. because uh, Winston uh -huh. invited me a few times over our many years. We know each other for some lunch, and I can completely attest to that. And to make this clear to all um, viewers and listeners, um, I'm a customer of Winston, of products he will be presenting today for many, many years. And I have cool, full confidence in his capacities. Otherwise, I would have not invited him today for the show. And yes, and whatever Winston created there at food was different. You you would bite in it, and you would not only smell when you're in the room, you would feel the difference immediately. I, I consider this the same difference when I grew up in a, in a, in a country, and uh, you had fresh milk from the cows uh, versus the milk you buy nowadays in bottles and bags yeah. and containers. And uh, I'm sure if you give nowadays a child a fresh milk from a cow, most likely the child would spit it out because it's so completely different to what the child is used as a typical taste, what milk uh, tastes like. We have all forgotten that taste, that natural taste, right? Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I definitely can uh, say that because I've uh, drank in powdered milk most of my useful years so i've never drunk in real milk until i came to america and then even after i came to america i still was drinking the regular homogenized milk and i thought that was great that was a hundred times better than my powder milk until i finally went to the country and got a glass of fresh milk from a cow and i go wow this is awesome you know and then i had the real cream that was just skimmed off and had that on top of an apple pie. Now, that's when I first realized, wow, there is thousand folds of nutrition, thousand folds of flavor, tastes. And unfortunately, most people that grew up in cities don't even get to experience this. And I, I, can, I can count the experience in a couple fingers of my hands because <laughs> it's a rare moment that you get to drink real cream, real milk in this country now. Fact, Would it be fair to say uh, that the majority of our society, that the majority of our society, has lost the connection to the basic, real, basic, basic food? Definitely true for America. I mean, all the foods that I have ever shown, only the foreigners, either they come from Arab countries or they come from Europe, but usually from parts of Europe, they'll go, "Oh yeah." I, I remember eating food like this when I was a little kid, but um, that's it. Pretty much everybody else goes like, wow, this is bizarre. I've never eaten food that like this. And nobody says it's something like they have eaten before, you know, or only the foreigners. So that's so besides true the, for, I think, talking about vitamins, besides talking about vitamins, um, you developed as well, which we can talk maybe at another show, various ways to approach food and to grow food, right? Definitely, yes. And of course, okay. I start from building the soil all the way on up. Because that, So let's do this uh, in some other time. If you happen. agree, you yep. come back to me some other time and we'll talk about this part. Now back to the vitamins. So we can summarize yes. and say our food we're having nowadays is to the most part depleted and doesn't have what it needs. 
And I think that counts as well for products from a health food store, from an organic store. Because nowadays, I personally question what is organic anymore? What is organic? And here my sentence, may I quote, which I said very often in my workshops and my seminars, not everything on Wikipedia is true and not everything in a health food store is healthy. Yeah, for sure. You must turn every I mean, label. Matter of fact, uh, I mean, like, like this is where I'm going to really cover some things uh, about like even talk about what you just said, certified organic. 29% uh, certified organic food does not have to be organic, right? So when you say certified organic, it's 71%, not 100% anymore. Right? They, they've changed the laws now. So, can you explain this a bit as better as it belongs to the nutrition part? I believe. Um, so, when you say seventy-one percent, so if somebody is proof, let's say for a yogurt, organic yogurt, right? Only seventy-one yep. percent needs to be organic. Correct. And the rest can be whatever it wants to be. Uh. I think that's a correct statement. It's okay. left open. Well, this is important for our viewers to know that um, certified organic is already compromised with what you think it is. Absolutely. I, I was when back, I guess it was 1993, I guess, when the uh, certification uh, program to kick in. I was kicking up a storm. I was probably one of the biggest anti certification people with regards certified organic because you that somebody was going to come along and sabotage the certification and of course it happened you know and um, I didn't prevent it from not happening which is a very sad thing but this is why well, it's for sharing like this the word certified organic you have to realize what it means right and we're going to talk about a little bit about vitamins and the words are very very important and Doing some research, just even for the show, just so that people clip, it was amazing just to have six months difference between my previous search to my present time search that I, I found out that there was outright lies published about things that are synthetic, that are really not good for you, that they say, oh, it's perfectly good. There's nothing wrong. And you have to really dig very hard to find anything. So... I want to make a, a disclaimer first, because just for legal reasons, we, we need to do that. And then I'm an inventor and a researcher. I'm not a doctor. So I'm not trying to diagnose here. And I'm not telling you how to treat yourself. I'm just going to tell you this information is for internet and for education. Okay. So do your own research, your doctor for your health. So on that, let me start from. Uh, some basic, basic words, just like location of organic means 71% is truly organic. Now, when it comes to vitamins, now most people don't like chemistry. Most people don't like uh, studying Latin as words like that. But you know, you can't read a bottle of vitamins if you don't know some Latin words. So I'm going to try to get as simple and as much so that a layman understands it and doesn't get confused when you pick up and read it. So this is part where we're going to need some slides. Let's pop up the slide, Joe, here. here. Good. So this is the first word, fix, right? Well, the Latin one, dexter, means on the right side. And fix a lavo comes from the Latin word meaning that it's the left side or to the left, okay? Now, just for your general understanding, this is a general statement, not an absolute. When things are on the D or the Dex side, it's generally natural. Uh, it grows just that way. All the plants, all the vegetables that you eat is natural right-hand turn molecule. And most your synthetics is going to be a left-hand turn. So a natural vitamin C versus a synthetic vitamin C. One will be, the natural will be to the right side, right-hand turn vitamin C molecule. 
and the left side will be your synthetic vitamin C. So let me Next go slide. back here a second. Um, the yep. world exists of molecules. Everything is molecules, mm -hmm. atoms. So you can have either an atom, a molecule, spinning to the right side or spinning to the left side. That's in nature given. This is nothing we right. influence. It's just the nature. So you may have one product uh, which spins right, one product spins left. And a good comparison is um, um, we have both in nature. It exists. When you take your hands, for example, uh, the right hand and the left hand, they're the same, but one spins to the right side and one spins to the left side when you turn it. So yes. that we have well, in nature. Let's, let's not jump ahead of my uh, slides here, <laughs> because my next couple of slides are going to show this. OK. So, so you want next the next slide. slide? Yes, please. OK. So a simple thing here. This is just sugar. Glucose is a sugar. One it says D-glucose, and the other one says L-glucose. You can look at it. It pretty much is a mirror image identical molecule. But one is spinning to the left sides, and one is spinning to the right side. And that's all there is to it. And so people say, well, there's hardly any difference. And that's the problem. There's hardly any. And it's just like your left hand and your right hand. They're almost identical, but they're mirror image of each other. Now, if you try to put a left hand glove on your right hand, it can, but it doesn't fit quite right, does it? Right? So same thing for the chemistry. It can be forcefully fitted, but it doesn't quite fit right. There lies the problem. Okay, next slide, please. Norbert, next slide, please. Yes, I did. Oh, finally shows up. Okay. So this one is, of course, is this since, and I have in the bottom, it says single and isolated vitamins. Right? So I'm not going to explain more. The next couple of slides, I will explain more. Next slide, please. Natural vitamins. Now, this is a tricky word. It doesn't say certified organic. It just says natural vitamin. Notice at the bottom, it's still the same thing. Single isolated vitamins. Now, what do you mean by isolated vitamins? Well, they basically can go, and this is exactly like, let, let's thing like vitamin C. Well, you get it from an orange, a vitamin C will have minerals. It will have enzymes, it will have sugars, and it will have vitamin C as all stuck together. Go in there, chemically speaking, and just split only the C out. Forget the minerals, forget the vitamins, forget the enzymes. It's just that one thing. Trust me, this is not natural. Okay, next slide, please. Plant-based, this is very, very different. It's broad spectrum, just like, like I was saying, the a vitamin C would have sugars and starches, some enzymes, some water, and vitamin C as all slapped together as one great big molecule called the vitamin C. Whereas when you're looking at the synthetic or the vitamin C, they are just pure vitamin C. While their numbers, when you're looking on the labels, can be very, very big, the plant-based vitamin can be very, very small. So people go, those bigger numbers are going to be better. Mm, not necessarily true. I will explain further. Next slide. Just a second, uh, um, Winston. Uh, for the people who view it on YouTube, uh, on the bottom of the page, it says broad spectrum. I guess it's a spelling mistake. It should say should say broad spectrum. Broad mix spectrum, not broad. Yes. <laughs> yes, broad. Just to make sure there's broad. no misunderstanding. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as I was explaining, they use. Uh, I kind of we can skip over this one. Because we just went already. ready. 
So this is also explained already. Next one. Good. Now, so when you talk about plants, these are pulled from vegetables, fruits, and herbs, and fungi, and all kinds of natural things. They actually retain the chemical structures, the various different different types of vitamins, and the phytonutrients all found in nature. Now, the better a plant-based vitamin is actually prepared, in other words, it's dried correctly, dried at low heat, not high heat. If you dry it at high heat, you start losing the chemical diversities. You're losing the phytonutrients. So even within natural plant-based vitamins, depending on the manufacturer, you have a huge difference in quality. Okay, This is very, very important to recognize. Now, when you get these plant-based vitamins or you buy regular herbs, you should be able to pick it up and smell it. And you should smell that it smells like carrots, smell like carrots, parsley smells like parsley. The better the quality, the stronger the aroma is going to be. Okay? So we can have the next slide now. So even when you buy vitamins, you can do that. Now, I wanted to pass this word vitamar because it's like, say, vitamins and it's different components within it. The vitamin is just like a smaller isolate part of a vitamin. Okay, so that's why I wanted to clear this particular word. Um, the next things I'm going to be talking about will be like the word tocopherol, alpha tocopherol. Tocopherol means vitamin E. And in this particular case, it says alpha tocopherol. And you don't know whether it's a natural or not natural uh, uh, synthetic uh, vitamin E just from alpha tocopherol. Okay, so let's have the next slide. And here is the label. Now see here on, on the label, it says as the hyphen alpha tocopherol. Now you know that this particular vitamin E is really natural and you still don't know if it is natural versus a plant base but you at least know it's spinning to the right side which means it's natural then below you'll say mixed cofferols then it says d and d this and d delta d beta cofferol so there's multiple different vitamin E's in this particular. You see this, I personally would be buying it. Why? Because it has a spectrum. Even though they're all vitamin E's, as they are actually isolates the individually. They have four or five isolates of vitamin E. Okay, so even though this is synthetic or this is a natural supplement of vitamin E, this will be a, a far higher quality than the next ones I'm going to show you. Let's have the next couple slides. Then. The next now, slide is going to be... Winston, uh, the next Winston, slide is going to explain a little bit more. How would a person now know it's natural or not? You don't. This is bad labeling, but this is life in America. So if you flip to the next slide, it'll show a labeling, <laughs> which doesn't always happen, but they can happen. Here is a label that you don't often see, but it's clearly stating, if you see on the uh, right-hand side under the big check mark, it says D, alpha, D, beta, D, gamma, blah, blah. But on the other side of the label, it also lists out the certified organic foods. And it actually says uh, apples and you know, beet and sea kelp. And it actually lists out the actual ingredients. So you know this product is actually a real plant-based vitamin source because they list it out. So that, that's the only way actually disclose and usually you're going to pay oh two or five six seven times more for this product 
than a pure synthetic one. And the price tag and the back ingredients, looking for that D, the D, 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 D. You want to see D. You, okay, let's have the next slide. Here is a synthetic one. Right? Notice it says vitamin C, D, E, and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say if it's D or an L or DL. DL means it's supposed to be mixed with uh, uh, some synthetics and some natural. However, on recent research, I found that is no longer a true statement. DL now also means synthetic. It does not mean a mixed synthetic. So they're changing the definitions as time has gone by. And by the way, this is for me, six months old research uh, before the DL, uh, very, very much so mixed to synthetics, a little bit of both or mostly uh, synth um, natural. But now they just flat out DL is synthetic. And but it fools most of us. I certainly got fooled. By so this is an if it doesn't say that it's a D, assume it's an L, which means it's synthetic. Okay. Next slide, please. No question. Uh, the uh, on the top yes. right corner it says synthetic isolated. Did you write this or was it on the label? Oh no no, this is uh, uh, put on later on. The but the labels are themselves was from the uh, jar. The synthetic slash isolated, that was me putting that on there. Okay, cool. I need to know that and people need to know that. Now, I must say before we go yeah. on, um, I'm looking deeply at this slide and the one before. Um, yeah. For the average person so far, it's still confusing. It's still oh, yes. confusing to understand. Absolutely. That's why I'm just focusing on the word D hyphen or L hyphen before the word. That's the only way a poor average person has any chance whatsoever of going like, oh, this is most like okay, or this is most likely totally synthetic. Possible, okay, then natural. allow me to go back. The only way you allow me to go back again. Natural. Yeah, yeah, thank Allow me thanks. to go back again. So the only way you can probably guess that this was a natural is that it listed out all the ingredients, a whole bunch of them and that you can determine that was most likely natural because they actually put out the ingredients now let so me this become the devil advocate here i'm sorry you you let me be the devil's advocate here because you say you most likely which means we still have no certainty absolutely correct so it's a uh Tricky game, tricky game to uh, try <laughs> by the right product. Yes, definitely true. Next slide, please. Okay, so we were just talking about D's and L's a while ago, and now here's the next big ripoff. I like somebody had this said, "Oh, look, this guy is really ripping up. He wanted twenty-seven dollars for this vitamin K." Was sixty nine dollars for the, and I can get the same, same vitamin K, three or four was seven dollars. So why the big difference? I go read the label, and he goes, it's the same milligrams. I says, no, there's a little teeny weeny little C M and G. So one milligram is equal to one thousand microgram, and there's a lot of vitamins coming out today, more than ever before. And that says MCG. That's a thousand times smaller than one gram or one milligram. So you have to really pay close attention of what dosing you. Because you might say, oh, I'm buying this for seven bucks versus that other one is nine bucks. So the seven buck one is a better deal. Except the seven bun is a mcg and the nine buck one <laughs> is an mg so uh, you one thousand times 
too much money for that same ingredient. So dosage is like huge. Wow. Really, really, really pay attention. Wow, Winston, and this of course, is very it's valid. so small on most labels. Uh, I can't see it on a label. I got to get my glasses on to the, that small C, you know? Well, and Winston, I must the say. The beginning letter is the ending letter is G. Looks like MG. Well, I dare so to yes, say, no, Winston, this is a very valid information um, that people are really aware of this. This is so small, it seems to be insignificant, but now we understand uh, the difference and the magnitude of the difference. And unfortunately, yeah. the consumers are not educated in all that. Yes. They lose their shirt. Absolutely. At a thousand times difference, and they, they two or three penny savings. Not really. So... You know, this is, as I said, I'm not a doctor, and um, chemistry, especially in the world of vitamins, is very complex. There's just, a, <laughs> there's nothing simple about it, okay? <laughs> so just making it so life can be lived easier and that you don't have to be a chemist to go out to buy your vitamins, here are some of the simplest things that you can follow. Try to buy the vitamins that are plant-based vitamins, okay? Um, the label should say uh, what's the quantity or the volume of the vitamins, like milligrams or micro milligrams. A lot of times you'll see, here's a good example. Uh, they will say, rose hip vitamin C. And you look at the rose hip and it's, MCG for the rose hip, teen MCG for rose hip, and 1000 MG for vitamin C. Now remember, MCG is 1000 times smaller denomination than MG. So even though rose hip vitamin C, it's really almost all 99.9 something. <laughs> percent vitamin C synthetic was a extremely minute one thousandth or fifteen thousandth <laughs> of the major body of vitamin C, right? So read the label, look at quantities. That's the fast way to lose money. Okay. Now the second thing, the bioavailability. Now here's a horrible trick, but it's easy to get go through, and that is. How well is your body going to assimilate the synthetic vitamin or is it going to assimilate the plant-based vitamin? Again, remember when our show here, we talked about the vitamins and was in the fruits and vegetables were thousands of times greater pre-1920 than it was at 1930, right? And therefore the FDA says it wasn't worth reporting because it was so small which is a legitimate argument because it was thousands of times smaller. So plant-based vitamins still is the same thing. It has that thousands of times better absorption and more nutritious for you. And of course, the price tag on the vitamin will also reflect that. And if you don't understand the volume and you just take a look at it, so wow, it's this, these things only have like 15 milligrams of vitamin C. Synthetics has got 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. So we're getting ripped. Not necessarily because you have to into account the bioavailability. A good example is like a lot of the natural vitamin C, you take say 30 45 milligrams of vitamin C that, that's just the natural plant base. Even if you double, triple, quadruple it, you're not going to diarrhea. Now, if you take synthetic vitamin C and you go 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, you will have diarrhea, most likely. There's a few people that can slowly build up and not do that, but in the beginning, they will for sure have diarrhea. So there is some 
bad side effects when you're especially dealing with synthetics where you don't find those bad side effects with plant-based uh, vitamins. And so that doesn't mean that synthetics should be ugly because our food and nutrition is so low. If your money is tight, get some vitamin Cs that are synthetic. That's one of the vitamins that are particularly okay uh, that is synthetic. Now, there are other vitamins that are not so okay. Okay, Vitamin E, you really, really want to get the natural form, the one that says D hyphen tocopherol. Because the synthetic, it's pretty easy. It starts out with an L hyphen tocopherol. And sometimes they'll even tell you what kind of tocopherol. It's from acetate. Right? Acetate is used to be uh, used for making Kodak films. Right? It's a, it's a fiber that you can make clothing with. But anyway, vitamin C, I mean, vitamin E used to be one of the byproducts. It used to make it because Kodak will make the film, there's little sprockets. They'll take those, melt it back down. And somehow through fancy chemistry, they'll turn it into vitamin E. Okay. So <laughs> this is just giving you a little taste of what, when you're talking about synthetics, boy, they can make things from a film or the little sprockets from the film and turn that into vitamin E. Okay. Well, um, I don't bon appetit. Bon appetit. I personally want it. Really? <laughs> so the next thing, obviously, is volume of the vitamin we just talked about. And considering when MG versus C, MC is a thousand folds, this is a very important thing. When you pick up the bottle, you should almost practice one, is it an L or a D? Two, does this G or does this say MCG? And then another term with the MCG that comes with, well, it is non-therapeutic dosage. Excuse me? Non-therapeutic dosage? If it's non-therapeutic, why bother take it in the first place? Well, watch out for those words. Non-therapeutic dosages is, is on some labels, and I see a non-therapeutic dosage, they walk past it. I don't bother to even read well or D, it doesn't matter. It's not non-therapeutic. I'm going to spend money on something that's not going to help me. Okay? So the next we're going to be talking about, the next slide, please. Uh, we can, uh, we, I already discussed on the next slide, please. is the common sense exceptions, right? Because I, as I said, this, nothing is solid, those, uh, locked in cement. And one of the good things that you can apply is vitamin B. Now, B complexes are particularly important in that your body's general functions needs vitamin B. If you have a vitamin deficiency, so you got all kinds of disease. Sometimes people have cracks on their heels, uh, on the sides of their feet. That's a vitamin B deficiency. Okay. And unfortunately, I have not been able to vitamin B, which is actually non-toxic. It's very, very hard. Whether it's more liquid form, I find it particularly difficult to find a good vitamin B. So my substitutes are using. Brewer's yeast. Now, even with brewer's yeast, you have to be very one or two brands out of hundreds of brands of brewer's yeast out there that will actually say on the bottle, not genetically engineered. GMO was a big cross in the middle of it going, no, it's not GMO. It doesn't say that I don't buy it because I don't know if it's not a non GMO product, what have they spliced genetically wise into that gene code of the brewer's yeast? Uh, a fungus, some, some um, um, pesticide, herbicide, I don't know. And so are you, saying, are you saying there is no decent vitamin B on the market? Uh, let's put it way. No decent vitamin B that Easily obtained. Uh, if you're a doctor, 
um, there are special sources. And if your uh, wallet is, there are sources of vitamin Bs that can be obtained. Uh, that will be another show. I have to do specific research and you'll have to tell specific uh, doctors to order it for you, kind of even just n normally order it. Okay. So this they can apply. They can run out the store and go to a health food store and buy some non-generally engineered vi uh, brewer's yeast. This is uh, relatively easily obtained. You have to go to one or two stores, but it's still easily obtained. Okay. Let's see the next slide here. Oh, before which we go the to the next one? slide, actually. Which is the last one? And no, no, no well, the, the the one before this one. Okay, so you didn't get my last slides. Okay. Um, the um, B complexes. This is so important. <laughs> I missed the statement. This. Use your common sense. Open the bottle, and smell it. If you feel nauseous in your stomach, that's your body saying, mm, I don't think this is good for me. And if you took the vitamin B anyway and you felt nauseous, don't go keep taking more vitamin B. That's your body wants to puke it out, right? That's why you're feeling nauseous. Right? It's common sense. Just a opinion, right? <laughs> your, your body is telling you, stop. I'm going to make you puke if you swallow the stuff, right? Doesn't want it. Uh, I could give a lecture on just vitamin B complexes, how it can potentially sterilize uh, pigs and humans and uh, the fortified uh, B uh, uh, vitamin and flowers are exactly very, very good for it. <laughs> so this is very important. Now, when we come back, I'm going to be ta talking about what does it take to digest your food, your vitamins? This is the next set. And I'm going to teach you some tricks. How to break down your vitamin pills so that if some of them give you slight nauseousness, because that's what you can afford, I'll still give you a solution. You can consume vitamins without getting sick. Uh, do you have something else to say, Norbert? Oh, I've got a million things to say, but I'm very, um, very, I'm very much listening to you and uh, learning more and more the more I listen to you. Now, my suggestion is, um, Winston, if you're okay with it, if you would come back in two weeks to the show, and then we do the second part where you do all these things you just mentioned, plus perhaps uh, the most important product I'll buy from you, it's a probiotic product. So oh, yes. can we agree in two weeks to be back at the same spot and then we continue where we left it today and going to blend over then in that second show, Definitely. probiotics. And I'm not sure whether the show is long enough to talk about your way to grow food. Uh, we can split it up and cover sections. So we can do yeah, next time then problem. the other parts and the growing the food in the third show then later on. Okay. Either way, we can discuss fine, fine this. We can discuss this internally among ourselves. Winston, thanks a lot for coming on the show. I think there are loads of valid information, and hopefully, it makes people think twice before they buy and take some of your information. Look at the labels, okay? And where can people call you or write to you? Uh, you can call me. Here's my number. It's a seven two seven four four seven. Two three four four. That's seven two seven four four seven two three four four. And you can also go on my website, and that is um, w dot go beyond organic dot com. W w dot b e y o e o r g a n i c dot com. And there you will see go beyond uh, organic dot com. Oh, yeah. And you'll see my yes. agriculture stuff, my water stuff, all sorts of things that I Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. So we see you in two weeks. I appreciate your Fantastic. time, your input. I love it. Well done. And bye-bye, Winston. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you.
Okay, my friends, the show is almost over. A quick one. Next week, I will be talking about the bees. If you know it or not, the bees are dying by the millions. And I have a solution. And the consequences for this planet will be crazy. Crazy what's going on. Thanks a lot. And bye-bye.